Hi, everyone. Joan is here. Oh, that's right. I guess I should have started with the introduction. Yes, my name is um, Jonas and we'll leave it like that. Anyways, this is my first ever episode of my video blogs, which I call The Autistic Adventures. Yep, or maybe yeah, whichever one you guys like. <laughs> yeah, my glasses are kind of getting in the way. Yeah, the reflection. Anyways, um, I'm here to introduce myself, talk a little about who I am and where I came from. Not too much of the details, mind you, but mostly that I'm an autistic 26 year old man, or I guess that's how old I'm gonna become this month, but um, how I'm pretty much one of the few who's not afraid to socialize with people that I want to actually communicate with others as well as meet new people, work with them. And of course that I'm currently attending university life because I have a dream that started long ago when I was but a mere boy. Anyways, the journey began long ago in a little city known as Matamoros in Mexico. I was a newborn. I was the youngest of three um, siblings, an elder sister and a middle brother. And there's me, the fucking baby. <laughs> oh, pardon the language. But um, anyways, what I'm basically trying to tell you is, is that um, growing up in a harsh environment in poverty, it, well, kind of, I guess my family were impoverished, but nevertheless, knowing that it would be a struggle to live a life like that, what with um, a broken down um, home, like we don't have much electricity or water. I mean, we didn't even have a good decent bathroom in where we used to live. So when I was about to turn three, my mother pretty much moved me and my siblings to um, to the U.S. right here in Texas. Yeah, why Texas? Well, for one thing, it's closest, nearest to the border, and other and the other reason, I guess, is because my mom wanted me to have a better life. Same goes with my siblings. Growing up in my hometown, it pretty much has its ups and downs. We constantly move from one home to another in order to save up money because either the rent was too much, either there were problems or we couldn't afford it for very long. But I pretty much moved from kindergarten to elementary schools until pretty much I went to my first ever middle school. I mean, I gotta tell you, it's kind of difficult for a new kid to to pretty much under to pretty much befriend people, let alone having to endure the kind of um, the kind of torment that they pretty much um, had to had to throw at me. But it was during my sixth grade is that I discovered my my style, or in this case, my um, my love for drawing, which came from the one thing I had growing up, which was anime. Yep, anime. From shows like Dragon Ball Z to um, Naruto, Bleach, but along with other um, kid um, contented or kid themed um, shows like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, stuff like that, that pretty much helped me grow up, helped me become motivated as well as inspire me to come up with stories. But I guess you could say is the first time I ever got applause for my art skills were from my art instructors. And they, and with the few exceptions of some students and, um, and instructors, they pretty much helped me become more confident in my skills to continue working hard. I mean, I didn't pretty much get that much into trouble or frustrated or angry until I entered seventh grade. My first middle school in my first semester of seventh grade, 
that's when the actual tormentors and bullies started to take it too far or make their life's mission to torment me. I mean, I was pretty much targeted as every every kind of jerk's um, punching bag or the butt of their jokes whenever they had the chance. And I tried to ask the instructors, but none of them even bothered to help me. I mean, none of them even wanted to do something about it or, or barely just told me to ignore it, especially when those kids just kept going too far and too much, you know? I remember this one time when I was uh, getting cap my cafeteria lunch there, there was this one kid who pretty much um, talked or pretty much tried to call me forth. I thought at first I'm, he wanted me to be his friend or he wanted to befriend me, but then he said, hey, dumbass, or hey, fat ass, why are you going with all that food? <laughs> but guess what I did? Yeah, I did that, but it didn't hurt him. But instead, when he retaliated on me, he pretty much, it pretty much hurt a bit because what can I say? Uh, half of their statements was kind of true because I was a big stomach, uh, a bit of a chubby kid, but I didn't do any much of workouts because I was a bit afraid of hurting my muscles. But other than that, I just pretty much, got into trouble like one or two times but overall all of that ended with me having to move to another house and having to start the second semester in another school it took a while but eventually I managed to trust people again because in my second middle school everyone were were actually more social, more friendly with me because of the, uh, just the experience, but because they're just, there's just so many different people. And, and I pretty much know that for sure. I mean, when I get to high school, when I once got to high school, I actually felt happy. I mean, high school were the best four years of my life. I mean, I pretty much got to do not just learn a bit more about the subjects that I've chosen, but I also managed to become a Special Olympics athlete. I was able to earn like six regional first place medals for softball throw, um, 50 meter dash and bowling. <laughs> yeah, no, not bullying. I mean, bowling. <laughs> yeah. At least that pretty much takes off a bit of my stress in me, you know, <laughs> but Overall, before I graduated, that's when I discovered what I want to do with my life. Or I guess it's something like my sister shouting at me that, what the hell are you going to do with your life, Jonna? <laughs> Jonas, my bad. <laughs> yeah, for reasons like this, I can't indulge you my full name. But <laughs> nevertheless, it was after that scorn shout at me. I figured out what I want to do with my life. And so I managed to grab the nearest notebook I had and I started to write scripts. At first, I didn't call them anime scripts, but most likely just fan fiction scripts. My first work was called Naruto and Bleach for obvious reasons to be a crossover between the two shows. But eventually when I learned that they're technically owned already by their respective authors, I decided to later on try to do my own, but at the same time, hone my skills by doing fan fictions. <laughs> I gotta tell you is that by doing fan fictions for a hobby, I pretty much started to hone my writing skills. But nevertheless, my dream is to become an anime director, which has now further evolved the more I went to college. I mean, from having to finish my required um, subjects at TSC to um, having to done like four years for a two year college degree at Texas State Technical College. And now I'm here in, in one of the great schools in Texas, the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, 
that not only do I get to take on more classes uh, that are related to the kind of profession that I'm after, but I'm also having the chance to travel to different cities. If anything, UTRGV has taught me more ways than just on a classroom. I actually feel more, more, um, more excited, more thrilling to meet not just all these new people, but to also overcome my own issues and, and trying my best to grow up as best as I can. Because not only do I have support from my, my, my parents or from my friends, but my instructors, especially to people that I've met for the first time, who actually, actually, who's actually seen that I can actually overcome my problems and I can actually achieve my goals because I want to actually do these kinds of um, these kinds of activities for the rest of my life. My dream is to become an anime creator of my own collection of series, but at the same time, I want to also start a production company here in, the, in South Texas because I may be autistic, but I'm not a person who's socially awkward, nor am I one person to wanting to be arrogant to actually try to do everything by myself. In fact, I, I, I thrill for the idea of working on a team with a team and being treated as an equal with everyone. After all, I'm not afraid of what I want to do with my life. I actually want to do this. Sure, it may be a bit of a risk to make video blogs like this because I may never know if any of the certain topics or concepts I might show you that it already has um, intellectual property with certain um, certain um, people that own them or stuff like that. But rest assured, if I need to explain to you that anything you see familiar is already owned by someone or was already created by them, I would give them credit on my description because I'm not the kind of guy who just hits and runs or in this case, um, takes and run because I wanna also give others a chance to shine a chance to pretty much know that their work can be admired and praised because we need the courage to overcome what our struggles are, especially with our frustrations, because each of us have certain talents, but not everyone has already a side of what their dreams are gonna be, but I do. And if I wanna help others, then, I'm gonna at least give it my all by doing the best that I can by making these blogs for each and every one of you as much as I can. And, and to also to pretty much show everyone that I want to change. And so does, and I believe so do any of you. After all, life has its ups and downs. To overcome this pandemic, we need to work harder to overcome them. But what's more important is to have patience. Yeah, patience. <laughs> you know, it's, trust me, for someone who has something that they want to have for so long, having patience may be somewhat of a struggle, but overall, if you do it right, in the end, you'll, you'll be the one rewarded because I'm taking a risk right now to pretty much get you all informed and let you all know that I'm not gonna be afraid about doing something that I know I need to do because this is something I want to share with all of you. So um, thank you for your time. I hope to hear some comments or any subscriptions if you are, willing to want to watch more of these um, episodes or blogs. If anything, um, I'll catch you next time when I'm ready to um, really upload my next um, video. 
This is Jonas from the Autistic um, Adventures signing off. So um, until next time, everyone.